Hello, my name is Laura. I'm going to show you today how to use World Creator with uh, Autodesk Maya and supplementing that with some materials from uh, Bridge from the Megascans library. And this is a tutorial meant to be kind of for hobbyists. It's not really meant to be uh, used in a professional capacity because I am using it as a hobbyist and I had some trouble finding documentation about how to convert this stuff all to Maya and getting it look good and with Arnold and yeah I thought I'd share what I learned with anyone who might be interested. Um, so first you're gonna start off with opening up World Creator. Um, I'm gonna just show like something just straight out of the box so let's go with the this volcano looking place. Um, there's plenty of tutorials on the World Creator website about how to use their software and it's really nice so I highly recommend it. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend we just made this beautiful mountain um, and now we want to export it and get it over to Maya so we can render in there and do fun things in Maya with it. So um, first we're gonna go over to the export presets. We're gonna add one uh, we're going to start off with uh, the mesh. Um, so obviously that's going to be your mesh that you've just made here in World Creator. Uh, let's take a look at the settings. So the format I am going to export is going to be the OBJ. Uh, I am having some trouble exporting the FBX and getting it to work in Maya. So if anybody has any ideas why that could be or maybe um, also wants to share in the pain, please let me know. Uh, but for now we'll go with the OBJ um, and uh, keep on trucking. So um, after we add the mesh we're gonna uh, go ahead and also add a couple of other uh, elements. So uh, the ones that I'm most interested in are gonna be the normal map. Um, nice, beautiful. Uh, we're gonna export that as an EXR and we're gonna use uh, the you know float uh, 16 I think is good enough for us. Um, let's get, then go ahead and add the splat maps. <clears throat> so the splat maps are the most important to me because um, it allows me to use them as masks for my uh, Megascans bridge uh, materials. So um, for the splat map there's a couple of specific uh, settings that are pretty important to use them as masks in Arnold uh, or in Maya for Arnold. So we're gonna turn the format into a, an EXR. We're gonna go to uh, float 16 again. Um, then we're going to leave normalize on. We're gonna leave uh, use alpha channel off, but then we are going to turn the single channel on. Um, otherwise, uh, the map will export with a whole bunch of different splat maps within your different channels of your image. Uh, but I don't want that. I want to use them each as individual masks and then I will blend them uh, in Arnold myself. So yeah, that's the three export elements I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to select a specific folder um, so that they don't go to the... Uh, default one because that um, is already being used by other stuff. So let's go to the desktop, let's go to my world creator tutorial folder and we'll press OK so that everything will export to that location. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click export all and that's going to take a while so I will come back to you after that is finished. Okay, export all.